guys, check out my hat. Dicky sent me a hat. If you're not subscribed to uh, Drinking Gaming yet, make sure you give him a sub, and you could win an awesome hat like this, or even a mug. Oh man, let's take this off. Warm enough in here without wearing a, a baseball cap as well. I couldn't see a thing, man. War one for uh, Beatron Agogi um, in the WCL flight division. I'm um, going to be looking at it from uh, all these wars from the Beatron side, um, but we'll look at attacks from, from both sides. Um, but it's always going to be from a Beatron perspective because that's the clan that. Um, that I'm part of so yeah that's basically what we're going to be looking at um so we've got a few uh, attacks for you today so let's just get straight on with those attacks for anyone who doesn't understand wcl or doesn't know wcl uh, flight division is two town hall 13s uh five town hall 12s and uh the rest town hall uh 11s and it's uh, a no dip league so it's all on those town hall levels to be able to hit across so it's uh, two attacks um so scouts and all that sort of stuff's allowed but there's no dipping allowed so there we go uh this is uh, how it looked and um if we have and there you go you can see there that that's uh, that's kind of what, what happened with the stats just more three stars from a uh, redline side so well done redline and uh, yeah, Beatron, we'll, uh, we'll keep learning and we'll develop from here and we'll keep going. We'll be okay. So today I thought we'd look at Zap Lalo. We've looked at it at Town Hall 13, we wanted to look at it at Town Hall 11 um, and, and how it's used. So um, I've got a couple of different Zap Lalos here and you can see the different ways they go. The first one is uh, this one here by uh, he's, uh, Redline R Mexican, so that's probably Raquel, uh, Rassel, something like that, but Raquel, um, against uh, Bishnu. And you can see he's going to get loads and loads of value up the top here. Now, it doesn't take out the ego, but you can see you've got your clan castle, you've got the queen there, and you've got two expos as well. Now, the expos are set on ground, uh, so don't really affect an air attack as as such. Um, but what he does, what he is able to do is get um, loads of value out of that and creates a nice big chunk, um, which then allows his heroes to come in. Got some Sui heroes in behind uh, that uh, ice column. And actually got a really nice funnel that getting that queen to walk in there and actually go straight in towards this air defense is pretty impressive. And then the Super Bowl breaker down there and then targeting that multi inferno. Um, Town Hall 11 hybrid and drag bat, so common, so loads and loads of multi infernos, which does lend itself to allowing you to sort of sue heroes in against infernos or uh, queen charge, uh, that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, so you can see you've got, before the Lalo portions even started, there's a big old chunk of this base gone already. The Queen's going to keep working up there. You can see the Lalo portion coming in at the bottom here. We've got two air defences down the bottom. He's pushing those balloons in. And then the ho the um, the Hogs, the Hounds, are going to track uh, straight up towards that north one once this air defence is down. But he's got enough value out of the those Hounds already that that doesn't matter. There's a second Hound coming in and a couple more balloons coming in from the other side. The Queen is still doing work over there. And it's basically created a big old sort of backward C shape for uh, for the troops to to swing around. So yeah, really good. And the stone slammer's still up, still got a hound up. There's the eternal uh, tome going down now. Didn't even need to use it really. And you can see that this this base is crushed. So that zap creating that big old chunk in the base, taking that out, helping with the sort of direction of troops, but actually. Um, just removing those clan castle troops and removing expos that would have targeted that's, uh, those, uh, the, the Sui heroes. Um, that's the value that, that was gained from, uh, from the zap in this attack. Still got a swag freeze at the end as well. So really nice. So a lovely attack there. That was from Redline. That was on one of our bases, which is now properly burnt, but it's been three starts, so we'll be moving on to something else. Uh, got another one for you now. We'll look at one from Beatron's side. And uh, yeah, let's flip over to that right now. So this is hands going in against, uh, oh, what's that? King Maquito, okay? Uh, fancy writing, so I couldn't even tell what he was saying. Uh, this one here, um, slightly different use of the zap. Um, so you can see he's used two on this left-hand side on that sweeper, and he's going to get the other ones on this side. 
and that's going to take out that other sweeper as well. So he's been able to target, just by spreading those zaps out a little bit, be able to maximise the value of, uh, of the spells. Uh, it doesn't get the eagle down in this one, but does get it really, really weak, uh, which is um, always helpful. And the main thing, got rid of the CC troops and luckily managed to get the queen as well. I don't think that was the intention. Uh, and then we've got Sui heroes coming at the top here. We've got the the king uh, coming in, just creating that funnel, just giving time uh, for that to develop because he's got to get through uh, a storage there, so it's taking a bit of time. And then th any second now, the uh, rest of the heroes will come in as well. So that queen uh, king ability has been popped and he's going to track all the way around that north side. A balloon and a baby dragon there as well, uh, just over at this side, just to... I think he's trying to get the king to go in here, but I don't think that happens if my memory serves. King is going to continue to wander around the side. There's the wall breaker coming in now. Remember, normal wall breakers wouldn't have worked against that inferno. It needed to be a super wall breaker there, so that's an important point. He tried to put the ice golem down in front to do some tanking, but the queen just charges up, took a bit of a different route, and queen's going to get loads and loads of value up at the top here. She's getting rid of the two wizard towers, and, uh, and the Inferno as well, and also triggers the Tornado Trap, which I don't think he knew was there. Now, um, he hasn't got any air defences down yet, um, but he has got rid of a lot of Splash, and he's got rid of uh, the Sweepers as well. So um, the Queen actually comes all the way around to you, see how low her health is, and uh, I think that's, that's kind of key to how this one works, because he's really tight on time with this one. But the Queen on that, she hasn't used her ability yet, but basically tracks all the way around and now just stays out the way and uh, we'll pop her ability in a little while and then we'll just um, keep herself going and just do a little bit of clean up and just tracking around behind the balloons and cleaning up. We haven't really looked at the deployment here but he started off with hounds coming at different sides, uh, tracking in towards um, the, um, the air defences and then he's got a big bunch here and then he's got some extra balloons coming in and trying to just keep everything into the middle, into the core of the base. And you can see over at the back here, this is obviously how this um, base is expected to be hit because they've got a Tesla, a Tesla farm right at the end and he has just enough to get through this. Now the drag gets distracted from the stone slammer, ends up uh, hitting away at the uh, bottom there and uh, not really any use at all hitting the, the king but then he's going to track all the way around and you can see the queen down the bottom there is basically what's going to get this cleaned up. Look how low her health is, man. She has gone through off screen. She went through her ability, got some health back and then went back down to hardly any health again. But a couple of really nice hits there. So that's that's how we're using Zap. Z when it was first developed, it was to take out the the CC and the, the eagle at the same time. And it's changed now, it's developed slightly, and that what we're seeing is it getting being used to get lots of value, spreading out a little bit if you can. You can get a hero, amazing. Get sweepers for an air attack, that's massive value. But it's really just about creating a bit of a chunk, which is going to help with directing your troops and funneling them. So, yeah, working really well. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that was useful. Um, shout out once again to uh, DK for uh, sending me some uh, merchandise. I uh, I managed to win a competition and uh, got all this cool stuff. Um, seeing how much I can't see when I'm wearing it, uh, I'm probably not going to use it on stream very much, but uh, yeah, awesome job. I'll definitely use the mug for uh, hydrating. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, then uh, please leave me a like, uh, leave me some comments, um, all that sort of good stuff, and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Um, if you want to see more of this sort of stuff or you want to catch some of these wars live, I'm streaming uh, two or three times a week on Twitch as well. So nip over there, come and see me over on Twitch and uh, yeah, come and hang out. Should be good. Cheers. Stay, 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 stay.